Hi, it's Trish. Thanks for joining me. Today I am going to make these super easy baubles using washi tape. You know I love to use washi tape for everything. And this is kind of an extension of my more ways with washi video. But instead of using paper, I'm using baubles. You can see here's one I made earlier um, out of some nice blue washi tape. And now I'm going to show you what you need. So you'll need some blank baubles, blank baubles, they can be glass, they can be plastic, doesn't really matter. These ones, the, lip, the tops come off, uh, yep, but it doesn't matter if they don't, really, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so I'm going to use some washi tape, you need washi tape, so you can use as many or as few as you like, it doesn't really matter, they don't have to be Christmassy, some, you can see on this pink one, some of them are Christmassy. Some of them are not, they're just pink. They still make an awesome bauble. Then you'll need some stickles or clear um, medium of some sort, maybe a matte gel medium like this TCW one, or you could use um, uh, Nuvo Glaze. I've used that in the past. I think I'm going to show you that actually. Yeah, there it is. I can use the new Nuvo Glaze on one of them. You could use um, any kind of medium that doesn't dry tacky, that dries clear but not tacky and that'll just keep the ends of your washer down and it means your bobble will last quite a lot longer than if you didn't do it. Okay, so optional ribbons, optional Christmas music. Okay, let's get started though. Um, it's simple as I'm going to take the top off, I prefer to do it this way and then I'm going to get stuck straight in and add washi. I'm using the gorgeous tartan washi which is not technically not a Christmas washi just a tartan washi but it's probably my favorite one or one of my favorites to use at Christmas time. I do love it. I'm just gonna break a little piece off and put it on the bauble. Um, I prefer little pieces because they stick nice and flat. If you try to use you know long pieces you because the bubble's round, it's not going to stick as flat. So that's why I prefer the smaller pieces. Doesn't mean you can't do it. You can definitely do longer pieces. You can do it in stripes. You can do it any way you want. But I like it nice and flat, or as flat as possible. They're never going to be really flat, but as flat as possible. So I like to use really small pieces. Um, I'm just going to stick like little pieces all the way around. Of the same washi tape and then I'm going to change colour and I'm going to do the whole thing again. Anyway, I'm going to put some more tartan on apparently and so we're going to put some more tartan on. Yep, a little bit more tartan and some more tartan. Oh, I do find it quite therapeutic actually because let's face it, you don't have to think about it it's not hard. It ain't rocket science. This is a new one in the shop. Um, just arrived a couple of weeks ago and I'm going to use that as my second one. I like to place the second uh, design as close to the first one as possible and I try not to leave any gaps. So I do overlap it a little bit as you can see there. There's no rules. You can totally leave gaps if you want to leave gaps. There's no rules in crafting, but I like it to be completely covered. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to try and put them all around. And that's basically it. What you're seeing me do is the whole technique. You just do it until the bowl is filled. So I think I'll probably fast forward through a lot of this video. Because, you know, it is what it is. That's basically it. So that's all you have to do is you just keep sticking it down. It's a fabulous way to use up your washi tapes. To be honest, it doesn't actually use a lot of washi tape to make one of these baubles. And washi tapes are generally, well the ones 
The march up are like mostly 10 meters long. It takes ages to get through it. So use them up, I say. Use them up. Okay. And I'm going to put some more holly around. Let's uh, speed this up a little, shall we? Okay, I've just added that gingham pattern, as you can see. And now I'm going to add this gorgeous red rose pattern. Not Christmassy at all, really. But I think this will add a really nice little bit of red to the ball which will help with my red green traditional Christmas themed colorway for this particular bauble. Yeah, I think that's good. You can hold the bauble on a cup or something if that makes you more comfortable. I prefer to handle it the whole time so I can press down on it. But it, I do find it quite handy to stick my little pinky into the hole just to hold the, the bauble. That, that's another technique that I usually use. Although I don't do it as much on this video because uh, it's much easier to do this when it's closer to you. And uh, when you're recording a video, it's not as easy to do what you normally do. Anyway, so you can see I'm still adding little pieces. Nothing's changed. I'm going around trying to keep them a little bit separate from each other so they're not next to each other, the patterns, and uh, continue adding washi to my bauble. Okay, I'm almost done now. I'm just trying to find any gaps that I've missed and fill them so that I've got complete coverage of my bowl. I told you it was easy. <laughs> I am just going to fill in the last few little gaps and I want to go I always find some gaps I didn't see before. That one you can't even really see on camera, but it, there is a gap there. And I think I've got it all. It's looking pretty cute. Well, if you want to go right to the top, right to the very top, around the edge of the screw mount on your bobble so that when you put your little lid back on you can't see the edge of the ball that's the goal the edge of the washi tape I mean so you can't see the edge of the washi tape that's looking pretty cute though wouldn't you say it looks kind of like a quilted a quilted bobble to me anyway so all your little edges and stuff are eventually going to rise up. So I think it's uh, if you want your bubble to last a long time, you definitely want to coat them with some kind of medium to really glue them down and make sure they don't move in the future. So that's what we need to do next. I'm pretty pleased with how this is turning out. Yep, pretty pleased. Those are the stickles I'm going to use. It's probably the closest one uh, to green that I had near me at the time. I'm going to put a blob of stickles on the bobble, just like that. And then, and then I'm going to Literally dab 
it all over. Now, I forgot to show in this video, if I was going to do a matte medium, like the clear matte medium, the TCW clear matte medium, I would probably do it with a paintbrush and just brush it on. But I, when I use the stickles, I like to dab so that it doesn't uh, get stuck in all the edges and create like a, like a stripey finish. So this way it gets better coverage. But if you wanted a stripey finish, you could absolutely wipe or brush the stickles onto your bubble. I've got it all over me already. Mm, yeah, I just like to do it this way. Oopsie. That's where I dropped the bubble. Yeah, I just like to dab, just dab the stickles all around, pressing down the little edges to make sure that they're all pressed down um, and secure. But definitely you could use a paintbrush and a matte medium, which I've done many times before. Many times. In fact, I didn't even think of using stickles on a bauble until this year, which is crazy because why wouldn't you want to get an extra sparkle on your bauble? And I've been using it on washi paper forever. So weird that I didn't think of it earlier. Anyway, just adding a few little more bits. Looking pretty cute. Okay, I'm gonna pop the bauble back on the jar so it can dry. Let's pop it to the side and maybe wash my hands really quickly. Oh, magic, I'm back. And now I'm gonna just show you some of the other ones that I've made in the past. This is one of the first ones I ever made and I think I actually used Sculpey Glaze. To cover it because at the time that was all I had but I particularly love how this one's kind of all the washies have got like a white base so when you put it on the tree and the lights are behind it it's kind of translucent and it shines through I love that about that one um, this one is uh, one we made at the show the picture to page from picture to page and beyond paper craft show that we did at Sandown uh, just a few weeks ago This is one that my mum made me and you can see that you can absolutely do stripes. You don't have to do little pieces and it still comes out really cool. Of course she made it for me in pink. Oops, again. Luckily plastic baubles don't break. Well, that's what I love about them. Um, yeah, she made it for me in pink because she knows I love pink. So yeah, that one hasn't been coated in anything but you could coat it with the matte gel. And if you did that, the shiny stuff on that bauble, if you use that matte gel, it would not be shiny anymore. So probably the glaze, the Nuva glaze would work better on that particular bauble. This is one that I used the Nuva glaze on, again, at the show I made this one. But yeah, I covered it with Nuva glaze and it still retains its shine. And I've added a ribbon. That's where your optional ribbon comes in. You can add a beautiful ribbon to your bauble and that looks kind of cute. To be honest when they're on the tree they don't really need the ribbon but when they're just sitting around they look cuter with the ribbon definitely. Here's another one that was made with the stripes. Um, yeah I kind of love that colour scheme actually the red with the aqua and a little bit of green I love that at Christmas time. It's really nice and yeah it's just unique and pretty. I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think of these baubles and um, whether you think you'd make one. I'd love to see them if you make one. Make sure you tag me. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments if you've got any more ideas of what to add to these baubles. I did make one where I added some snow on the top with some Tim Holtz grit paste but I uh, forgot to show it in the video but never mind um, 
yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and whether you like them or not. Uh, thanks again and have a great day. Bye.